So there are no notes here, which follows up with the lesson from the previous class, coordinate geometry proofs. We just do some problems and get good at doing them. So we prove the medians to the legs of an isosceles triangle congruent. I already set it up for you. First word is median, which I immediately say that's a vertex to a midpoint. So hopefully that jumps out and says I need the coordinates of these two. So S is A over 2, B over 2. If I just lost you, then go ahead and write it out. It's A plus 0 over 2 and B plus 0 over 2. But at this point, you should be getting faster at that. And R is... This one's a little trickier. I will write this one out. A plus 2A all over 2. And I'll write this one out just for the fun of it. B plus 0 over 2. So R is 3A over 2. This is B over 2. Now it says prove the legs are congruent. So that screams distance formula to me. And it's tricky. So let's see what we got here. Let's do O to R first. Only because um, the coordinates of the origin are 0, 0. So it makes it a little bit easy, easier. Um, and we should not have the top on there because that does not mean distance. So we do 3A over 2 squared. I should put minus 0, but I'm not going to. B over 2 squared. A little bit of algebra because we're going to have to make this look like something a little bit later. 9A squared over 4 plus B squared over 4. And I'm going to pull the 4 out of the bottom. Just for good practice, that's OR. That is not that bad. SQ might be. So let's do SQ, big square root. We will subtract from S to Q, just because we've got that zero there. It might make it easier. A over 2, this is S minus 2a. I'm going to leave a little space here because I'm going to have to multiply that to get a common denominator. Squared plus b over 2 minus 0 squared. Now I know I need a 2 on the bottom here, so I'll multiply by 2 over 2. So we have a minus 4a over 2 squared plus b squared over 4 and a little tight on space here but we'll get it done that's 1a minus 4a that's negative 3a squared over 4 plus b squared over 4 Square it, and look at this, we're right back. And that is a coordinate geometry proof. This is tricky stuff, but only because the algebra gets a little complex. Setting it up and understanding it should not be that bad. Find a midpoint, find a distance. The other stuff, yeah. It's a little tricky. That is it. Go do problems. Good luck.